<sighs> home sweet home. Hello? Daniel, it's me, Etienne. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. For Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. Though I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer.
Hello? Is that music? I'd better take a look. Is that someone playing a music box? Interesting. What the? How can there be a door there? I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh.
the door was open. Were they waiting for me? Hmm. Hmm, I should take a look in this floor first.